Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to do a fun cartridge comparison. We are comparing parent case uh, to one of its offspring, 30 out 6 Springfield versus the 270 Winchester. We're going to talk about the fallacy that the 270 Winchester is a flatter cartridge than the 30 out 6. We're going to see if that's really true. Hope you enjoy the video. All right, so many people will say the 270 Winchester is a flatter cartridge than the 30 out 6. Now, they're right and wrong, and I'm going to explain. They're right because in factory ammo, a 130 grain is just going to be flatter shooting out of a 270 Winchester than, say, a 150 grain or 165 grain or even a 180 grain out of a 30 out 6. And to the best of my knowledge, there is no factory ammo with a 130 grain in 30 out 6. So, in factory ammo, you will have a flatter shooter in the 270 Winchester. But on my channel, we're always talking the full potential of each cartridge. So, let me show you how the 30 out 6 is actually a flatter shooter than the 270 Winchester. I mentioned that the 270 Winchester's parent case is the 30 out 6, so I'm definitely in the camp that the 270 Winchester's parent case is actually the 30 out 6 and not the 3003. I think when they when Winchester necked down a 30 out 6, it lengthened the brass, and there you go. There's your 270. That's all I'll say about it. You can disagree, whatever. But here's what happens when you neck down a cartridge is it becomes less efficient. So you're going to be shooting more slender bullets that could go into the powder capacity. Now, you're going to get more velocity when shooting the same weight bullets out of a 30 out 6 compared to a 270 Winchester. Looking at the data for the 270 Winchester with a 130 grain, well, maxing out your mid 3100 feet per second, it's moving along pretty darn good. Then we're going to skip to a 150 because 30 caliber doesn't really have any 140 grain bullets. I mean, there are some, but we're going to skip that. Let's go to the 150 grain, and it's maxing out 2918. Looking at the 30 out 6 data, unfortunately there isn't a 130 grain, but there is a 125 grain. So this isn't completely apples to apples, so I'll be the first to admit this isn't completely fair. But Nosler claims you can get 3,400 feet per second with a 125 grain, which is really crazy fast, okay? Then it becomes a little more fair when we compare the same weight with a 150 grain and max velocity of mid 3,000 feet per second. So I think on average when you're using the same weight grain bullet with the same bullet, 30-06 is going to have a probably around 150 feet per second advantage. As I just mentioned, it's kind of hard to find a 130 grain bullet in 30 caliber. Lucky for us, Barnes makes a 130 grain TTSX in 308, and they also make a 130 grain in 270. So this is the bullet we're going to use to compare to the 270 to see if the 30 out 6 is really flatter. With a 130 grain Barnes TTSX in a 270 with a BC of 0.392, and a muzzle velocity of 3150 feet per second. Your muzzle energy, 2,865 foot pounds. You're gonna have about 18 foot pounds of recoil with a nine pound rifle. All right, let's just go out straight out to 400. Still having a decent amount of velocity and energy in 23.6 inches of drop. Moment of truth, let's see what the 30 out six does. 130 grain TTSX and 30 out 6 with a pretty poor BC of 0 0.350. But you're getting that bullet at least 3250. Barnes says you could probably get up to 3300 feet per second. Uh, but I'm just going to pick 3250, something that probably most 30 out 6s can do. A muzzle energy of 3,049 foot pounds. And then again, let's go straight out to 400 yards. The bullet's going well. Um, really close to what the 270 is doing the energy well there is some trade-off when you're using such a tiny small bc bullet you're actually not going to have as much energy but it's within 24 pounds and moment of truth 22.8 inches of drop so yes the 30-06 is technically flatter with the same 
weight bullet. But again, there's going to be some trade-offs. You're not going to have an energy advantage. And in some bullets, like this one, you're going to have less energy. Okay, so I know what you guys are going to say in the comments. Like, you're just cherry-picking with that one bullet with the TTSX. You know, it doesn't have the best BC in 270, so of course the 30 out 6 is a little flatter. Well, let's go ahead and look at a bunch of other bullets. Now, this one, not completely fair. I wish there was a 125 grain Acubond for 270 to make this a little more fair, but as you can see, 20.7 inches of drop, 1566 foot pounds of energy in the 30 out 6, and then a 130 grain Acubond, 22.7 inches of drop, so it's a 2 inch difference. Again, not huge. And then the energy is a little bit less. Now, it's pretty cool that you can shoot a 124 grain Hammer Hunter in a 30 out 6 and a 124 grain Hammer Hunter in a 270. So you're going to get at least 3,350 feet per second. And then you're going to have 21.2 inches of drop, 1,418 foot pounds of energy, which is kind of lacking. And then when you step up to the 270 with the 124 Hammer Hunter, it's definitely going to have better BC. But again, it's going to be a little slower. Now, I've shot the 124 Hammers out of my 270 Winchester. And I've personally have gotten the top velocity of 3,200 feet per second. You probably could get a little bit more. And again, the drop is a little bit more. But, I mean, it's within an inch. But... This little bullet, 124 Hammer Hunter, has a much better BC. So again, you're kind of compromising with the 30 out 6 energy for being a tad bit flatter. Now let's move on to 150 grain class bullets. We're going to use the Burger bullets. Both make a VLD. You can shoot, again, a 155 grain VLD, 3,050 feet per second. And the drop at 400, 24.1 inches, 1,726 foot-pounds, so that's pretty decent. And then when you use a 150 grain VLD in 270, again, you're just getting a little over 2,900 feet per second. And it's a 2-inch difference, a drop. But check out the energy. It's a little less. So there's going to be a bit more advantage when we get to heavier bullets. Now let's look at some of the higher BC bullets that the 270 Winchester can shoot with a 1 in 10 twist. So we're going to go up and wait for the 30 out 6. I'm getting this data out of the Nosler book and it is the top velocities that you can get with a certain powder. So with a 165 grain Acubon long range and 30 out 6, 3,002 feet per second. Pretty awesome performance. And excuse me, that's supposed to be a 168 Acubon long range. Sorry. And the drop at 424.2 inches and the energy 2,005 foot pounds. Then we get to the 270 with the 150 grain Acubon long range. And the top velocity from the Nosler book says 2918 feet per second. And it has a one inch difference of drop. So again, the 30 out 6, even with a heavier bullet, is a little flatter. Now, I know there's a counter argument for you guys to say, well, the 270 Winchester is going to be flatter once it get past four or 500 yards. So let's see if that's really true. I'm on the Burger ballistic chart. This is a 150 Acubon in 30 out 6 at 3,050 feet per second. Now, we're just going to go out to 900 yards. I think that's plenty far enough, especially for these old war horses. Uh, 233.98 inches a drop for the 30 out 6. Let's see if the 150 grain Acubon in 270 is flatter. Here is the 270 with the 150 Acubon. The muzzle velocity of 2918, I believe, maybe 2920. Uh, yeah, 2920. Then let's go out to 900. Holy cow. 234.8. So the 30 out 6 still is technically a little flatter all the way out to 900 yards. 